Although they were born and raised in California, the Radoni siblings have made Texas home and the Baylor family an extension of their own. Here's the pitch. Called strike three. That's a no-hitter by Gia Radoni. Gia Radoni is the starting pitcher for the Baylor softball team, and her name is already etched into the record books. But she's not the only Radoni on campus. Thanks to Gia, actually, with her connections, she helped me get recruited by Baylor. She talked to her coach, which talked to Baylor's football coaches, and it kind of helped me get seen by them. And so really, I am here because of Gia. Without her, I'd either be at a school back home in California or somewhere else doing something different. Thor earned a roster spot back in 2016 and has been working to prove himself ever since. I just think it, it's nice just to have someone here for support and not many miles away. So having a brother, Thor, who also plays here, understands the work that needs to be put in and the time scheduling. So it was just a good transition for all of us to have a little piece of home here in Texas. So like the navigation throughout college, yeah, Gia has been huge for that because I see a lot of freshmen that come here that are kind of lost. Like they kind of look up for like their teammates and stuff like, hey, where's this, where's that? Like how does this happen with Gia though? She was always like that piece of home for me. Like, Anytime I got homesick, I could either go to her apartment or you know, I wasn't feeling well. Like It was always Gia that was support, which I was super thankful for. Without her, my well, college experience would be a whole different thing. But the Rodoni siblings have had anything but the typical college experience. The COVID-19 pandemic left Gia and Thor with a tough decision. Should they start the next chapter of their lives or come back for one more season? Right when our season had got canceled, I was obviously very devastated. And I knew in that moment that if we were given another year, I was coming back regardless. Um, and so the longer I was home, I became more at peace. If like NCAA doesn't give us another year, like I'm okay. Like softball isn't who I am and there's more to life than it. Um, but then they did give us a year and I really felt led to give it back to my coaching staff that they've poured in the last five years to me on the field, off the field when I was injured. So they, I felt like I owed it to them. So with Gia coming back for her sixth year, it was now Thor's turn. With his degree already completed and a job waiting for him back home, would he return for a fifth year? The choice to come back for both my sister and I, we both talked to each other a lot about it honestly and because I look up to her, she, she did her five years and she came back for her fifth year. And she basically explained to me, saying my father is like, you can never get this time back. The second I ran and stepped on campus and spoke to us the first day, I was, I was hooked. You got that revamp of like the feeling of family. It's like, I'm not ready to leave this yet. So Thor went back to work and his effort and dedication to the team was recognized. He earned a coveted scholarship. Guys, I'm proud of you guys. You guys have earned it. It's important for me. It's important for your coaches to know that when you do things right, people notice it. When you help other people, people notice it, right? When you play by the rules, when you do what's asked of you, and you do more than that, right? Good things happen to you. Proud of you guys. So after when I was all said and done, I got into my truck and I called my dad. Like first off, I, I started crying. I'll be honest, I cried first. It's such a proud moment as a son. Like you could call your father and say, "Dad, look what I've done." But of course, that wasn't the only phone call he had to make. G was the fun one. When I called her, she didn't answer because she was in class. So I sent her a bunch of text messages saying like, "Hey, 911 emergency, call me back instantly." So she stepped out of class, I think, and she called me back, and I told her. And probably hers, hers is probably the most special, just because. We've both been here so long together. And whenever she told me how like how much like how proud she is of me, like she always is too, like my dad, but it just meant the world here from Gia because we've been here together for four years now, five years, and just seeing your sister, get excited for you is kind of awesome. I was in tears when he had told me just because I know how hard he works and he ultimately earned it in my opinion. Um, so I was just super proud of him and everything he's poured into that program.